Okay, so today's math question, as you know, the leaf season is finally over. Thank goodness the leaf season is finally over, right? Terrible season. The star player admitted, he actually admitted yesterday that he didn't play so well this year. And he pointed the fingers at himself. It was his fault. Well, that's why the entire team except for the mascot got fired yesterday. Or Sunday. So Phil Kessel scored 25 goals on 280 shots. What was his scoring percentage? Be sure to show your work. Now I just want to make a little note that whoever's watching this on YouTube later on, you're going to see a lot of mistakes coming up. The idea is for us to share our strategies so we can understand how percents work. Because you guys have been exposed to percentages and numbers under 100. Now we're getting to numbers over 100. So those of you watching at home or later on, please be patient. Students are just sharing their ideas. Who would like to share their idea first? Whether it is right or wrong, come up and give us your answer and explain clearly what you did. Uh, what I did is uh, uh, 280 divided by 25. I got 11.2, so I did like 11.2%. Okay, you got 11.2%. Yes. I see that you did 280 divided by 25, like you said. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Do we agree that that is the way to get this answer? How can we help Mubashir figure out the correct way to do this? Because he was slightly off. Does anyone else have any ideas to come help him get his answer? What I did was, so, then I, so since Phil Kessel scored 25 goals out of 280 shots, I multiplied it by 100 because percentages are out of 100. So I multiplied it, it gave me a mixed fraction of 8, 8 13 over 14, so then I got 8.13%. Okay, so you, I like your strategy. Can it, can anyone see what what slight error he made on his calculations here? What was the slight error here? Because he gave a fraction eight, thirteen over fourteen. Then he gave me a decimal of eight decimal uh, answer of eight point one three. Where can this be corrected, Tim? Right, this denominator has to be 100. So it's, since it's 14, the decimal cannot be 0.13 because that denominator must be 100. So this decimal is really something else, okay? Very close. In fact, you're probably right. Mm. We did 25 divided by 280. Which gives us 0 0.08. Okay. So we change this into like mixed fraction. So it's eight percent. Okay. So one, the one you you have. To, I'll take. Let me take over here. So here we have what she did was she took 25 over 280. That is her fraction. Well, that's his fraction. That's how many goals. And this is total shots. Total shots on net. He takes a lot more shots and misses the net, but that's not his fault. Um, so what she did was, or what your group did, they did 25 divided by 280. Because remember, fractions is division. If you do... 1 over 4, and you do it the way this group did it, 1 divided by 4. What is 1 divided by 4? If you put it on your calculator, or if you figure out whatever way you do, what is 1 divided by 4? Tire. It's 0 0.25. Now, if I had to change 1 over 4, to make it out of a hundred, what would I do to make it out of a hundred? 
All right, you have to multiply this by 25. Multiply that by 25. And your answer is 25 over 100. Well, look at this, 0 0.25, 25 over 100. What percentage is that? What would be the percent? Aaliyah, 25%. it's 25%. So 25%, if I had to write this down, again, 0 0.25. 25 over 100, even 1 over 4, equals 25%. It's all the same. These are equivalent. You can call them equivalent fractions, ratios, percents, whatever. They're equivalent. Okay? So let's go back to the first one here. Now using this as our guideline, 25 divided by 280 is going to give you a really odd looking number. It would be zero decimal, I think zero, eight, nine, so on. We'll stop right there and you'll see why, okay? So now, if 0 0.25 is 25 out of 100, what fraction would this be? Nahil? She, she said, for those of you who didn't hear, 89 out of 1,000. Why 1,000? So what she said was there's three places after the decimal place. That's how many zeros I need at the bottom. And that's correct. Okay? So, but if percent is out of 100, what would be equivalent for 89 over 1,000? What would that equal out of 100? And how would I get that answer? Actually, first tell me how to get the answer and then give me the answer. What would we do first to get that answer? Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, let's look at the denominator. How can I get from here to here? What operation do I need to use to get from here to here? Division. How much am I going to divide 1,000 by to get to 100? 1,000 divided by blank equals 100. Yes, 10? it's 10, correct. So now what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And now you can do your decimal theory. Go ahead. So you put the decimal between 8 and 9 because you're moving what you do to the denominator, right. you do it to the uh, numerator. Numerator. Numerator, because they have to be like equivalent. So here, let me give you another, an easier number to work with, so you understand why this happens. Ninety divided by ten equals what? What is ninety divided by ten? Nine. Nine. So now we don't have a nice even number to work with. So 89 divided by 10 is 8 decimal 9. This number right here is really 9.0. We just don't say 9.0. Okay? So we have 8.9. So what is 8.9 out of 100? What is the percentage? Yes, sir. How much? If he shot at a 90% ratio, the Leafs would be winning the Stanley Cup every year. The Leafs don't win Stanley Cups. <laughs> Aaliyah. 89% is still a little too high. Pinch me. I'm dreaming. <laughs> if the Leafs are scoring 89%. Even if they didn't take that many shots, I'll take an 89% scoring rate. It's actually 8.9%. Okay. 8.9%. And if you're wondering, 8.9%, where that puts him in the lead, 
It's like 250th in the league. <laughs> and if for those of you, what's that? 30 teams, but there's, al there's also close to 1,000 players in the league, right? In case you're wondering, Taha, that's a million dollars per percent that he earns, okay? Because it's like almost 8 million a year, right? So anyways, that is one way of doing it. Now, I know some of you are confused as to thinking this is 89%. But now what I'm trying to tell you is in fractions, you're allowed to have decimals at the top because it is percent, yeah. There's another way, okay, so come up and share your way. Are we something like Isha's, except when we did 25 divided by 280, that's 0 0.089, I multiplied that by 100, like there's 100%. Mm -hmm. So we multiplied that by 100 and we got 8.9, and let's do 8.9%. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. And that is my, method of choice I will I will model how I do it thank you so basically when I get numbers like this especially if you guys write a test and I try to figure out your percentages 20 I would do 25 out of 280 which you don't want to get on a test of course I would <laughs> 25 divided by 280 multiplied by 100 that's the trick. It'll give you eight decimal nine. Okay? And then there's another way of doing this. My grade seven teacher taught me this back in the day. Except when she was using the questions, the leaves were good. So we had good examples. Back when they were making it to the semifinals and playing well. What we did was she taught me this little trick, and I'll never forget it. 25 over 280. You're trying to figure out what it equals out of 100. So she taught me this trick called cross multiply. So she goes, you take, and I don't recommend this because I find this way is a lot easier, but this is just another way to do it. She taught me 25 times 100 equals 2,500 or 2,500. So because you go this way, you cross over and you multiply. And then when you go this way, you divide. So now I divide this by 280. And I know the reason why she told me to do that is because the decimals can get tricky. So now, I hope this shows up on the thing. Okay, well, it shows up enough. If you do 2,500 2, divided by 280, it actually gives you the same answer. 8.9 and we're just going to ignore all these other little numbers here okay that is why my teacher taught me to do the multiplying by a hundred first whereas your way you do the multiplying at the end so this is what it would look like on a calculator if you're doing it this way so just so you don't get discouraged you go 25 divided by 280 equals See that 0 0.089, blah, 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 blah. Multiply that by 100. And it's the same answer as before. Yeah. The, the way you show it, is that like the same thing as I show just you switch the dividing with the multiplying? Right. And see, you did the multiplying at the end. I did it first. Because this way here, if you find decimals confusing, like if you find 0 0.089258728, whatever, confusing, this is the way that I would do it if you think if decimals confuse you, go this way. You don't get intimidated by decimals, go that way. So that was today's lesson. And then hopefully, when I do this lesson next year, there will be, be a lot higher scoring percentages and we'll be in the playoffs. Really? Yes. It has happened before. I know it hasn't happened much in your lifetime. And in case you're wondering, and we don't know who's going to watch this, every person in this class is either 11, 12, or 13 years old. 
That means in your lifetime, the Leafs have made the playoffs one time. 